All right, so on my way to Vegas, just wanted to talk about um, another poker mistake, and that's lying to myself, which is something a lot of players do, and it was a big problem early on, and it, it was hard. So let me let me sort of explain. So you need to really be realistic about two things: first, your skill, and second, your profit. And it's something I never was. It's something like I, I wasn't really, I couldn't face the fact that I wasn't good early on or I couldn't face the fact that I essentially really was losing money and not making money early on. And you know, so you need to be realistic. You know, you need to be realistic about your skills, about your plays, about your profits, about the luck factor that's involved in poker. You know, some players will just leave a session and be like, oh my God, I, I just played amazing. And they didn't play amazing. They played God awful, but they think they played amazing. So what it does is it reinforces bad habits and it reinforces bad play. So you need to be able to face the truth. And the way to face the truth is to keep accurate records. All right, keep accurate records. Um, it's something I was terrible at early on. Uh, online, it, it's easy, and oh my god, I can't even believe. So what I used to do online is I used to, uh, in Holden Manager, if I had like a really bad session sometimes, I and I would like, I would say something like, oh, you know, it, I'm not playing the way I normally play, or, or I'm not focused because I'm I'm sick, I don't feel well, and I'd clean the database for that day. It was so bad. It was so bad. It was like not coming to you know not coming to grasp with the fact that I wasn't really profiting that much so I'd create this like fake world of profitability and we do that like as poker players like in the way we talk to other people you know like oh no yeah I was just running bad or you know oh it's just an unlucky day without acknowledging that you're not a good player and essentially what you're doing is you're practicing self-deception or you're essentially just lying to yourself I mean you know you gotta face the facts and you gotta keep accurate records because you can't lie to accurate records like if Hold the manager says I lost three thousand dollars. I lost three thousand dollars. I mean, that's what the hand history say. If you walk to a, if you walk to, if you went to Vegas with three thousand dollars and you left with nothing, you lost three thousand dollars. So it's important to keep accurate records. And I'm going to talk in another video when I get back to the office, when I get back to New York, about how to keep accurate records or my format for essentially recording um, losses and profits. So you don't, so don't lie to yourself. You know, it, it's very, very important. I lied to myself for way too long. I wish I would have been a little bit more honest. It, it's just like looking back at it, it's like just so terrible. Some of the stuff that I did and some of the rationalizations that I made for losing. Uh, be truthful, be honest.